Okay, as you can see by me showing you this video picture of my cell phone, that is uh, September 19, 2013, and the time is exactly uh, 10.39 a.m., and I am in Sandigo, California. Okay, and I am at this location, as you can see right here, okay, by that dead tree. And hold on one second, please. This is a video prediction file, and video prediction files are designed in order to make video predictions, make predictions, verbal statements concerning what could occur around me, concerning me, about me, towards me, or against me, along any of my routes today. This includes, and this includes, in fact, you know what I'm going to do is because of some situations that have ar uh, arisen over this past two weeks, I'm going to start making prediction videos that, uh, that like, my, the statements that I'm making right now, me showing you a video picture of my cell phone shows you the date and the time, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm all the statements that I'm making in this video file and in other video prediction video files apply for at least the next week. That's right. Now, as a result of me being a target victim and activist concerning the crimes of what is known as organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking, uh, I am harassed through clever means along all of my routes. And on occasion, I am also subject to assault, staged events, which are designed to make them look normal appearing, Staged events and organized stalking are called street theaters, uh, skits, or productions. And that's basically designed in order to uh, evict a target from a business. That's right, a library, public library, a university campus, any business, any place I go, including the law library. Now, these, these incidences that are created are created to make them look like it's the target's fault in reference to why they're being accused of something, complained about, or evicted, or, or all three, banned, you know, like from a business, a library, a university campus, whatever. And they're designed in to intentionally make it appear that the banning of a target from these physical environments is being done for le legitimate causes, okay? Uh, they'll make it appear that a person complained about a target, or a person is accusing a target of something, or that a tar uh, they'll provoke a target to take out their video camera to take a picture of somebody who is gaslighting them, but will deny it. And then they'll use the excuse that this person should not be taking video pictures in our, in our location, like if it's a business, library, or university campus, or whatever, and then they'll use that as the excuse to ban the target from that place, including transportation services, like MTS, whether, or, or North County Transportation Services. That's right, I'm in San Diego County. So today I'm getting ready to go to look at a specific area. Uh, HA is the code word concerning it. And we're going to see if any incident occurs on any of my bus routes today, any bus stops. This includes any problems with, and any business I go to as well. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be going to do my laundry. We're going to see if any incident occurs. Let me just condense details here. If any incident occurs concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me for the next week, including at this area right here, and you can see that, that tree right there. Okay, it's falling down. You can see what it looks like. If any incident occurs concerning me, about me, towards me, around me, or against me, no matter where I'm at, no matter how I'm, no matter where I'm going to, no matter what type of transportation uh, vehicle is used to get there, buses, trolleys, shuttles, bicycle, walking, if any incident occur, businesses, public libraries, university campuses, any place I go, period, end of story, it will be the direct, literal, concerted effort of this organized stalking, gang stalking expedition, and this includes where this video is being taken at right now. Now, uh, we're going to see uh, if I'm banned from any business, any library, any university, any law library, uh, any transportation service. We're going to see if I am assaulted. We're going to see if I am arrested. We're going to see if I am petitioned to any area, neighborhood, hospital, or county mental health. And, my, and, and I might as well just say it right now. I'm, I'm up for redetermination for CalFresh, which is food stamps for California, and, and I live in San Diego County. And they're going to come up with a normal appearing means or excuse to make it look like they have a legitimate appearing means or excuse to take me off of food stamps and keep me off them. Or to at least put me under extreme duress in reference to making sure that the redetermination works in my favor, or if, I d if they take me off of them 
through normal peer means and excuses. They will then put, uh, uh, put me through, oh, I'll just put it to you this way. They'll put me through a lot in order to get it reinstated. Now, I've already caught gang stalking flat out, wide openly happening on video and audio, happening around me in social services when, when I applied for them last year. I literally caught individuals on video file flat out saying gang stalking around me repetitively and continuously inside the social services office. And before I got there, I made a video file and an audio file stating that I would hear it before I even left the location to take two buses to get to it. That means, because they're getting around me everywhere I go and repeating gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, gang stalk. Oh my god, we're crazy, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, oh my god, gang stalk. And another word that has the initials CH. Okay, so, and see, in organized stalking and gang stalking, they're directly connected to human trafficking rings, sexual service rings, prostitution rings, land co-opting, property co-opting, mortgage co-opting, trust fund liquidation, identity theft, racketeering of all forms, insurance fraud, and part of the reason why they, they would keep me off of food stamps is to create such bad financial destitution that the target has no means to take care of themselves, food which in turn will cause this, create the circumstances in the situation to cause the target to reach out to other places that can be influenced by them or controlled by them. Homeless shelters, food banks, churches, domestic violence shelters, um, you name it. This is organized crime in the system that has tentacles out within the community or at least can influence a place that a target will run to. Trust me, I know exactly what I'm talking about. You would not believe the evidence I got. Now, two nights ago I was on a national radio show. A national radio show, okay, that was heard all, all across the country. I flat out mentioned that I'm a gang stalking target right on the national radio show. That's right. But they feel that if they just implement, see what they do is develop a scheme. And then, in the scheme, they say, well, what maneuvers and what steps can they, can they implement in order to achieve the scheme? Keeping me off of food stamps. That's right. And then what they'll do is create the maneuvers to implement the scheme while trying to make it look like everything, the effects of the scheme and maneuvers are normal appearing excuses or normal appearing mishaps. So they can apply... So the perpetrators that are in the system, they have the employment descriptions that aid in abetting gang stalking, can apply plausible deniability concerning the effects that the target has to live in as a result of what happens to them, food stamps being taken away, and so they can call the target crazy if the target says, look, I know the truth about why you did this and why you did that. Last year when I applied for social services food stamps, I literally caught a social services worker flat out trying to get me to sign a piece of paper that was completely filled with lies. That's right. And those lies that she wanted me to sign would have kept food stamps away from me. And it was caught on audio file. Okay. Now you compile that with the fact that gang stalking was constantly repeated around me in a separate building in a separate locations that was a social services building. Now. If anybody says gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, gang stalk, oh my god, weird, crazy, gang stalk, gang stalker, gang stalking, crazy, weird, and a word that's got the initial CH around me or stalk around me, okay? The tape recorder I'm wearing right now that is attached to my undergarments on my chest that has an extended microphone will pick it up. And right now I have over 700 separate audio files of this method being utilized around me everywhere I go, every single day, continuously and repetitively. They're also engaging in physical gestures that they're constantly making sure that I, con that I see everywhere I go. It's a clever way to make you feel stalked by sensitizing you to words, phrases, physical gestures and sounds and then just using different duped community members to get around you to repeat them and, that's achieved, and that is achieved as a result of them knowing where you're at. And that's the stalking of gang stalking. That's right. All right, now i got to go. So, again, look at the area that I'm at right now. You see that dead tree right there that's falling down? That's where I'm at. If any incident happens at this area, including by property owner, okay, police, okay, or anybody else that might be close by in this area, or any neighbors, which include across the street, or up off this hill,
understand it will be gang stalking related and I don't give two shoots I don't care who they use these individuals will literally even use children and that can be googled they'll use senior citizens adults teenagers and they they want to make it appear that everything that is happening to a target is happening because of normal appearing means normal appearing excuses that's right while even also if they can try to paint the target as being crazy that's right because a part of these um, expeditions in reference to their motivations have to do with taking syndicated probate control of a target in order to take syndicated probate legal control of their finances to also exploit their insurance and to also exploit a target sexually in a syndicated run group home that they're put in by the state by syndicated members in the system in for, that work for the state so these targeted individuals can be treated like straw people so their finances can be co-opted or so benefits can be applied for in their names so their insurance can be exploited the insurance they already actually have or that's co-opted or the insurance that is applied for in their name and how they can be sexually exploited that's right I'm in San Diego California they're doing this to the elderly veterans people that have fixed incomes like pensions the disabled you would not believe what I know that's right so again if any incident occurs concerning me about me towards me around me or against me in the next 60 days this video file applies to it as well as the other video prediction video files that are already on social platforms showing me describing what is happening to me and what might now these video predictions in part is what helps keep me safe and it also exposes the criminality that's happening to me because 98 percent of all video predictions email predictions and audio file predictions that I have made have come true 98 percent that's right. All right, I gotta go. I'm in San Diego, California. My name is Leslie Williams. I'm a good woman. I really am. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like I'm, you know, a saint or anything, but you know what I mean. The point I'm trying to make is, I, I'm a good woman. You know, I'm not. I'm not. God, there's so many bad things that are happening in America in reference to our society and our culture and how the government and the, just it's crazy. You know, I mean. I guess what I'm trying to say is that, well, for one, I'm not involved in any illegal or criminal activity whatsoever, whatsoever, okay? Uh, I'm not a threat to myself or others. I, I, don't possess, I, I don't possess any weapons at all except for some three-inch pocket knives, and it's gotten to the point to where I can't even carry them with me because these assholes that they put along my routes try to provoke me. Yeah, because one of the ways they take syndicated probate control is by claiming a target's either a threat to themselves or others, that they're crazy, mentally ill, or that they can't take care of themselves, or a mixture of all three. That's right. So, uh, I'm not a threat to myself or others. I'm not crazy in any way, shape, or form. I'm not mentally ill, and I definitely know how to take care of myself, 100%. Okay? I'm a, I'm a target of this crime. I'm a victim of it. And I'm an activist concerning it. And the only thing that I'm trying to do is not just keep myself safe, but I'm also trying to expose these criminalities to the public so they can know the truth for, for what the truth is. You know, truth matters. Okay? You know, all right, but I got to go. I'm in San Diego, California. I'm a good woman. And the only thing I'm asking for my viewers, if they feel inclined to do so, is just say a prayer for me. Okay, I, I literally got to go. Uh, there's going to be some eventual cooperative material that's going to be put in the description of this YouTube video. You can go to YouTube and type in "learning disabled woman exposes evidence" or uh, uh, "catches evidence." Okay, yeah, and you'll be able to witness the evidence that's already online, which is not even 0.001 percent of the evidence I have in my possession. And when you witness the amount of proof that's online, it's undisputable. And eventually, some of the evidence will be put in the description of this YouTube video. Please say a prayer for me. Because uh, prayer does help. Um, and uh, I appreciate you listening. All right, thank you.